this is Matt from Investicoin. Today is Wednesday, October 5, 2022. Yesterday was another strong day in the markets. We had our second strong day in a row, and we closed up above the R2 pivot point. So uh, that is definitely a strong day when that takes place, and that's something that we can look at here and discover. So let me get this uh, set up here, and we will use a setup based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, now we are trading lower in the overnight session, so let me go ahead and add that by going to the opening filters, gap direction, and clicking on gap down. Next thing I'm going to do is go to price patterns, and I'm going to grab that close between R2 and R3, which is going to be available in the act of today. I'm going to go right there, click on close between R2 and R3. That is found in our location of the last open and close. If I scroll down, you'll be able to see we have all the pivot points in there. There they are. So I've got that selected, and then next thing I want to do is go to the indicators library, uh, today, we have a close above a 10, but below a 200. So I just grabbed both of those from the act of today, and I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you are gapping down in the prior session closed between R2 and R3 pivot points above a 10, but below a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we have 35 samples in the S&P, 27 in the NASDAQ, 25 in the Dow, 42 in the Russell. Win rates on these are mixed. S&P, the weakest of the group, at 43% of these closing above the opening print. For the NASDAQ, it is 52%. For the Dow, 60%. For the Russell, 60%. If we look at the average moves, the average loss here, quite a bit larger than the average win in the S&P. That's also the case in the NASDAQ. The Dow has a larger average loss and the Russell has a larger average loss. So uh, historically speaking, the win rates on these are mixed. Two of them are a little bit favored here, the Dow and the Russell, uh, but the average moves to the downside are larger on all of them. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.